Everybody record? Yep. I'm good. Three, two, one, go. Oh, hold up. Let's talk about the rest of the story. I've been a photographer here at BYU for a really long time, and this shot has been on my bucket list for at least eight or nine years. I've always wanted to get a shot of an athlete running through a piece of glass and kind of seeing it shattering and pieces flying, shoot it in super slow motion. But the really the big question was how? I've just never had the opportunity to do it. I've never had the perfect project for it until now. Every week we do a special photo shoot to introduce the uniform combination for the football team. What we needed to do was have a really fun photo to introduce this royal helmet. And I thought, man, this is it. This is the perfect opportunity to do the breaking glass. Whenever you see glass breaking in a movie, it's really just sugar melted down and put in a form to look like glass. It's very safe. It won't cut skin, but it looks real. So I did a lot of research trying to figure out exactly how to do that and came across some recipes and some YouTube videos and set about to do and try and do it for myself. So we brought that test piece of glass into the studio. I had my student break it over his head. Turned out amazing. I realized we could really do this. If I could get a big enough piece of glass, we could have that football player run through it. But that's when the problem started. <laughs> that's when it got hard. It was really a challenge to figure out how to hang the glass. And what I came up with is kind of a door frame that the athletes could run through. And all we had to do was make a shelf to put the glass on. Maybe the hardest thing about the whole photo shoot was getting the, the piece of sugar glass from horizontal on a table to standing vertically in the frame without it cracking. Okay, before we lift this up, I wanna walk it through. So what we're gonna try and do is keep the plywood backing on, set it up and set it on this cleat, and then me and Nate are gonna very slowly try and raise it up. We're trying to make sure that it sits on that without breaking. And then with that pad, you just kind of make sure it doesn't go too fast. So just, you're gonna stabilize it, but just don't push into it. Okay, good, yeah, try to stabilize the center. I'm gonna scoot my way just a little bit. Yeah. So we're just gonna go super slow. Okay, you got Yeah, you're countering it? Yeah, you got like five okay. inches. Okay. Okay, you're up. Stay there. Okay, you can pull out. Okay, it is supporting, but keep watching it because it could just I'm so surprised. shatter. Well, um, yeah, okay, so what, Nate, what do you think we should do to support the backside? I, I still think if we get some two befores and just put on the back, get some clamps and just clamp it in those three spots. I think that is the best way. We just need bigger clamps. Well, it is falling off of the the back, it's there. It, I mean, if we pull the plywood, if we could, yeah. if we could protect it, it, we could pull this plywood out and it'd be pretty much almost ready to go. We'd have to get the paper off. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's cracking any further. Okay, so Nate, let's try this. Let's just ge gently, we're just gonna hold, hold it in and just take the plywood just slowly off. Do you want just me to don't do go all the way off, we're just gonna do like three inches. It's self-supporting. Yeah. I, think I mean, the metal might be helping a little bit, but if we slip that metal out, okay, well that's encouraging. Definitely, when it's already broken. <laughs> well, I mean, look how many cracks are in it already, yeah, but, it's but it's still holding still together. Up. And this is just my test slab. Is, yeah, but so. But I just was worried about getting a vertical, man. When we brought the glass to the studio, I wanted to do a full-size test with the cameras, with the lighting. I thought. This is it, this is my one chance to run through a plate of sugar glass. So I put on the only helmet I had here in the studio, which was a baseball helmet, some safety goggles, and here we go. Okay, okay I'm gonna count it down. Yeah. No, in fact, I'm gonna have Dave count it down from five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that was like going through a sheet of uh, drywall or something like that, that was interesting. How'd it look? Woo! How did it feel? It, it, was, it was actually, a little, this has been, it's pretty brittle because it's been sitting for two weeks. Uh -huh. But yeah, I think it, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's just hit it with the shoulder. Oh, okay. Look at that. There was such a relief that came over me once I did the test and saw the footage. 
and I realized, man, this is it. We can totally do this. All right, guys, after looking at the test footage, I think there's one thing we have to do. In the final shoot, we need to turn the direction this way. Yeah, 100%, I agree. I think the side angle, the profile shot was much better than the straight on shot. Yeah, the, the helmet's the hero in this shoot. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and put the glass plate here and just using the same wood frame, which I thought worked really well. The athlete will be coming from right over here and they're gonna run this direction. Okay, so if that's the case, if we're gonna feature the side angle, let's go ahead and put the phantom camera right here. So kind of where we are. Mm -hmm. And then let's put an R3 shooting at 240 for slow-mo video right next to it. And then I'm gonna handhold another R3 and that will be shooting the high frame rate mode so we can get some really good raw stills of that. I think we should still keep the straight on angle. I think it's better to have it and not use it then need it and not have it. I don't think it's as strong of an angle, but it could be good So to still just have. But you're saying for video? Yeah, for video. Okay. So shooting at the 240. So an R3 on a tripod here, okay. All right, well, so if that's gonna be the setup, we need to talk about the lighting. I did like that top-down light, and I feel like that's probably important because it's gonna light up the Y on the helmet. So let's go ahead and put a RE right here just right above the path of the football player. Yeah, well I, th I think that'd be pretty cool because then as they break through the glass and they run through that light, there's kind of a reveal of the helmet and then it goes yeah, back out. Yeah, kind of go out of it. And then you keep those side lights that you had before, the rim lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those side lights are really important because they make the glass show up against that background, right? Yeah. So we'll put, a, we'll put one here and one here, both of them just out of frame. And then that way they are adding that, side, that light lighting up the edges of the pieces of glasses are flying. And then this top down light will create a kind of a spotlight straight down. Yeah. And uh, I think that will be really high contrast, but still have a lot of texture, still have kind of our, our uh, make our helmet look really cool, um, but Some, create a fun environment. Something I noticed though with the footage, the, the test footage, is when you ran through, we framed the camera, but you actually jumped yeah. as you went through. Yep. So I think when we have the football players here, that we have them do a bunch of dry runs through before we actually put the glass up. Yeah. So we can make sure that we're framed right. We'll or, just, or do we have to shoot looser just in case? I, I, yeah, I don't want to shoot too loose, so let's definitely just have the glass, not put the glass in until they've done the dry runs, they've perfected the move, and then we'll put the glass up and have them do the thing for real. Yeah, I think that'd be great. All right, guys, I like this plan. Um, I think it's just time really to, to create more sugar glass. Yeah, in creating that test sheet, it took about an hour and a half. And I'm telling you, I'm just sitting there stirring that pot forever, it felt like. And I just keep on thinking to myself, this is like the BOE version of Breaking Bad. <laughs> so weird. I've um, never seen it, but I believe you. <laughs> well, so and what, I, what I would like to do is create four sheets. That way, hopefully we get at least one good shot of each of the guys that, that's yeah, going to go. Yeah, I think it'd be good to have a backup. So that's going to take a full day of just making sugar glass. So it's time to get cooking. Welcome to today's edition of the Photographer's Kitchen. Today we're gonna to make some big sheets of sugar glass. We need four total. We have two different football players coming in, so we need two sheets for each one of them. Uh, first of all, what I need to do is uh, explain that it's a little bit harder than it looks to make candy. I really didn't know that. Um, some of my early attempts at making sugar glass created the world's largest sugar cookie. If you want one, give me a call. But I finally figured out the proportions, figured out how to do it. So I'm just gonna walk you through the process real quick. First of all, down here we have a big piece of sheet metal. This is gonna be the form. This is what we're gonna to use to pour the, the liquid sugar into. Uh, I'm just gonna bend up the corners of the sheet metal and then I'm gonna put some parchment paper down and the parchment paper makes it so that it will just come off. You want a big, even coverage because this will make it so that the sugar doesn't stick to your, to your form. The next step is to put together your ingredients, which are really simple. Corn syrup and sugar, lots of it. Uh, I think that cookie happened because I didn't put enough corn syrup in. It keeps it, the sugar from recrystallizing. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. That's about 10 cups of sugar, which is about half of what we need to make this one sheet. Here's the other one. I've been making it in two pots just because I don't have a pot that's big enough and it's also hard to melt this all down. 
Um, but I find between the two, it's just about right. Okay. Next, we're going to need the corn syrup. And I've made this recipe so that this big giant container basically is just split in half, half in each pot. Come take a look at all this. That's a lot of sugar. All right, and the last piece is we're gonna have to put some water in here, about four cups in each side. And that's it. We just gotta heat it up now so everything melts together. Doesn't this look appetizing? All in all, this is gonna take about an hour to cook down and to get to the hard crack stage or can you know of candy which is going to be about uh 280 degrees for us bubbly stuff are happening now not so much over here i'd use a little laser thermometer to check that 182 209 all right gotta keep an eye on this keep stirring it every five four or five minutes keep stirring keep stirring keep stirring so today we found out the photo shoot is going to be tomorrow at 11 and it's almost eight o'clock tonight. So it's gonna be a long night trying to get everything ready, but I had no idea when I got into photography that this is what I would be doing. All right, using my laser thermometer, I just hit 280 right there. Almost there, it's time to pull it. Got some safety gloves on, let's do this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour over on this side and try and get a nice even pour. I'm just gonna lift it a little bit so it starts crawling. All right. Now the other side will be ready just in a second. The heat makes it bounce up, kind of makes some ripples and that, that's a challenge to get a nice clean sheet. So let's turn this. Okay, that's it, 280, last batch. Stuff solidifies really fast. So I'm gonna try and hurry and finish. All right. I'm gonna lift this side just so that other side gets a little bit more coverage. And that's it. That's the exciting world of making a big sheet of sugar glass for a football player to run through it. So we're gonna take it over to the studio, come back and do it again. The night before the shoot, I couldn't sleep. There were so many variables, so many moving parts, and I just wanted, was hoping I could get at least one clean shot of the sugar glass exploding. After talking everybody into this, I just felt a lot of pressure on myself to make sure that it all worked. We only had about an hour with the athletes, so we had to move fast. Before I wanted to put the glass up, I made sure that we had them run through their motions to make sure that we were timed right, everything was pre-focused, everything was ready. We did several tests, but then it was go time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, good. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I like with both hands. Okay. okay. I thought that was good. You guys ready to do it for real? And Miles, as soon as we get this up, we're gonna go, because this is okay. super fragile. It might break while we put it up. We're trying not to. Nice and slow, nice mm. and slow, nice and slow. We might have to slide it over towards Nate. Okay. Okay. I, I Somebody take the okay, slowly pull off. The top is not. You got the metal with you, Nate? Yeah. Can you get the board? Okay. Very slowly, very slowly. Okay, don't touch it. Move the table out. You need to clamp it. Clamp. It's like, it's like Which side? Off. That side is not even on. We're gonna have to slide I it know, over. That's what I was saying. We have to shimmy it over. Okay, sliding your way. 
We got a slide you way more, Nate. Okay. Oh, it's in Okay. Okay. Okay, right there. Okay, we're on. Okay. Freeze. Is it seven? Everybody. Clamp. I'm just going to hold it like this. Okay. We don't. Uh, we might not need to clamp it, guys. Just grab the rag. Here, you just want to turn the softer. Oh, this is way thinner. Okay, are we good? Slowly, slowly, slowly. It's it's bending it. Don't it's do it. Don't do it. Just let it set. Undo the pump. Undo the pump. I can stand here. I can stand back here. We got yeah. It? Yeah, just stand okay. back there, Nate. Okay, everybody, get in position. Everybody record? Yep. I'm good. Three, two, one, go. That's sweet. That's so if anything, keep the head more forward. Yeah. So we see the Y better? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Crushing. Oh, that's cool. Look at all that in there. Oh, man. It's kind of like, it's almost like, it's almost like soggy drywall is what I would describe it as. It's really a weird feeling. Because it looks like my body, it's like you hear it, but you don't like feel that. Yeah, it's like your body saying, don't go through that. And you're like, no, I have to. It's kind of fun. It's, it's fun. Ah, that looks so good. It just shatters. Let's go. That was nice. Yeah, that looks sick, man. Okay. Good, we got one in the can. We were fortunate enough to be able to rent a phantom camera to get that slow-mo footage. And then we also used Canon R3s to do 240 frames per second slow-mo video and high-speed frame rate still photos. The, the first piece of glass went off amazing, so we immediately reset to do the second one, and then it got even better because we were able to turn his head so it was going straight forward, so the logo of the Y looked perfect. Hazards of working in the studio. On the other side of the blast plate and shoot a shot through it. But if we can't do it, we can't do it. We're gonna see what it looks like, right? I mean, I'm glad we got one. Yeah. Because I don't think we're going to get all four the way yeah. that that was cracking. Yeah. And this stuff's even more brittle. Just help it gently, just yeah. grab it so it just gently slows down. It's, it's going to slide down. Yeah. No, no, no. Just on the bottom, on the thick part. Yes. I feel like that whole corner is bad. Can you pull off just a little bit off? Okay. Nice and slow. Corner gone. Yeah. That corner? Yeah. Okay, get a hand, get a hand under it, person. Okay. Thanks. Watch out. Okay, pull the metal off. Pull everything off. You got it, person? Okay, just so stay right, stay there. Issues were not up against it oh. on the right. Okay, I might still be able to hold it. It can be held on this side. Hold on. I'll, I'll probably just hold it on this side again. Yeah, Nate's just going to hold it. Yeah, it should be moving in the same way. Okay, let go of the top. I got it. Okay, Nate's got it. Everybody in position. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is the problem. Sugar everywhere. I, actually, can you save it all the way so the dust is falling? I know it'll take a little longer, right? Yeah. Okay. Do that. Okay. Right there. Oh, yeah, that looks that's good. awesome. Okay. That looks oh. That's yeah, get that so nice dope. And, and this is nice because he leaves the frame. Yeah, the big like pointy yeah, blast. That, that dust. Yeah, the blast that pops out. That's nice. Yeah. Pepe, let's do this. Get over here. We had Pepe do the third shot, and we had to come up with a different motion. He's a defensive player. He wouldn't have a ball in his hands. So it took a while for us to kind of get what we wanted with his arms coming up and out to really show that defensive intensity. Okay, so I was thinking like 
arm swing, like that. But if you're coming around the thought. edge, what do you, what would here's you? my thought though, you would be like busting someone up like that, right? Isn't that how your arms would go, Pepe? If you're hitting somebody, you're busting through a line. Well, I promise you block your helmet. What is, so you're trying to figure out another way I to can rip. rip? I can rip, we do that a lot. Do the rip? Let me, let's do a couple, let me walk, walk it through. Let's do slow motion kind of some Go ahead. Move. So, so if that's I, the line, yeah, go ahead. Do you want me to do the rip? Yeah, let me see a rip. A rip. So the problem is the helmet turns away. Yeah. Would that be weird? With the arm, uh, elbow out? But if the arms, here's, a, here's my thought. Let me shoot it in slow motion so you can see. If, the, if you're coming in, let me shoot it, it, and then the arms kind of come up at the same time. My worry is he blocks the helmet and turns. Let me show you. But if it's on the side. Let me show you, let me show you. I can take a shot. Keep yeah. your head forward. Head forward, okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, someone up on the TV. See, so that's, now try the, uh, let's, let's do the other one. Now try, try to do it with the arm coming forward. Yeah. The whole thing is, is we have to read the Y, right? Yeah. So your eyes have to be looking right at that camera. But the only thing I don't like about this is that's not as real. Nice. I know, but, then, but I think it will look good. Let me see. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, no, that didn't work. I mean, the rip, if you did that, and then Ooh. just with the other arm, and like just a modified version of it so you keep your head straight. I mean, it's a rip. Well, like, because the, the rip, right, it's like this. Yeah. Right? Maybe because it's so Well, like, do but it do we do it with the left arm? What do you do with the other arm? So you're doing a rip and you're going right. The po that is a possibility. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Do it but I like the yelling, too. Like, three, two, one, go. Ah! Yes! So, okay, you see how you're still turning your helmet a little bit? Yeah. And it's just natural because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But this is a photo shoot. This isn't a, you know, supposed to. So Hi. Hi. So what do you think, Dave? With his hand? Yeah, do it again. Three, that, watch the backhand especially. Two, one, go. I like it. Ah! See, I like that. That's dope. Baby. So that's what I'm saying is, can we have the arm like that up so it go, the arm goes through the glass first? Would that work? Ruin it? Well, well, but it's still the same move. Yeah. It's just moving in a little sooner. Yeah, I'm well, fine. But if it's here, it's gonna hit right into the glass. So before you hit the pain, put your arm up and then hit like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. So, your arm's gonna go so that was nice because you came through the frame with the arm up already. So what we're okay. saying is, see that? Yeah. If you can come through like that and then keep the arm up, you know, mm -hmm. that was nice because that way the arm breaks it and then the, the, the glass will not be on the helmet as much or the sugar won't be on the helmet as much. <laughs> it's not glass. But that was the arm was great there. Okay. So it was you like it, it slightly it, bent. It, yeah, it's kind of bent down instead of up. And so you guys want me when it's here. Yeah. To be like yeah. That. Like, like that. This. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we do the glass? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna stand back here. Okay. You're on. Okay. Bring it in. okay. Slowly, Dave. Talk. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, guys. Slowly. Slowly. So the board. Okay, hold on. I have the, I have the board. Okay, the board is coming off. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch out, middle. I have the metal end of the board. Okay, I got the metal board. Metal board coming off. Don't breathe. It's all my finger, the metal. Yeah, hold it in place. You're good. Okay, hold on. Okay, someone... Matt, you need to be on this side holding it in place. I'm on this side. Okay. Hey Dave, we need you to take Brooklyn's place so what? she can go take pictures. Yeah, we're good. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that, that is looks amazing. That is beautiful. That's really cool. Okay, right here. All right, it's getting real. close. Hey, okay, play it. Oh, look at that elbow just popping right through. Ooh, that Y looks nice. Oh, see, look at the Y just that reveal amazing, right there. Yeah. That's it, man. You guys are you guys are killing it. Nice. Everybody's gonna be so mad with you guys. <laughs> this is a secret. That's you wanna do one more? Right. That's cool. Yeah, let's try it. Let's do it. Okay, now this one may not work because 
Uh, where's my heating iron? Well, we're gonna try a little bit of uh, repair. I just got this little heating iron to try and fix this big crack that appeared oh. while we were setting up. <sighs> this one, I don't know. I what we could do is just have this speed and somebody have somebody hold that corner. That's probably what we should do. Yeah. Just like Dave can be just here yeah. holding the corner. Yeah. I feel fortunate that we had three that were successful. So if this fourth one breaks, it breaks because that last shot was awesome. We're good. This is just gravy now. <laughs> just shooting gravy. Sorry guys. Magic takes time. Slowly, gently let it down. Sit down. Okay, can we get another set of hands? Uh, okay, let's see if we can. Dave, oh, slowly pull off. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Dave, I've hold got on. it. There's a full the center section. Is it's fully split in the center. Yeah. Okay. Get the metal off too, Dave. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's coming down. It's okay. like. Okay, okay. just, it's just like hold a... it in place. <laughs> you pull this out. There. Okay, mm -hmm. don't anybody move. I see it. Can we get it fixed? Uh, if we can get like two more people in here. Oh. 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 Okay, I got it. I got the piece. I got the piece in the middle. I don't have the left piece. <laughs> it's like stuck to the fucking piece. Okay. Just hold the piece. Just hold it real quick. What if we just held these from behind and he ran through the broken pieces? Yeah. Yeah. Because this big, okay, oh. hold that, just grab it. Okay, Sorry. somebody grab this piece that I'm holding. Hold on, hold on, I got hold You got that one, Brooklyn? Oh, no, I don't. Hold on, I'm, I'm only like three pieces. Oh, ouch, my gosh. Are you okay? Okay, so, everybody that can hold a piece of glass, come on this side and just hold it and he'll run through it. I got it? Okay, so Dave, you hold the piece, Brooklyn, you come hold the piece. You have to be on this side. Of it. Right. When you're right around his yeah. head, it's all. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> That looks cool. Golf. Yeah. Here, this is take number two. Go ahead. That's cool, man. Yeah. It looks sweet. That's 5,000 frames a second? Mm hmm Yep. I love that piece in the front that's just flying. Yeah. So that's take oh, number great, two. Man. Thank you, thank you. That's super awesome. It was a great relief to have the photo shoot done until we looked at the cleanup. Sugar was everywhere in the studio. It was in the walls, it was in the cracks of the floor. There was piles of it. We must have taken out 50 pounds of sugar. We actually ended up having to mop the studio like three times and then repaint the psych because it just destroyed it. After all the preparation, after all the planning, after all the testing, after all the cooking, it was so amazing when it finally paid off. A lot of people will say, why didn't you just do this in post? To me, it's special because it's real. You need to go find what your bucket list item is and do it. That's what will help you grow as a creator.